We just um, oh, the cats run away. We're just having a little moment just to relax um, before we get on with the rest of the trip. We're in the we're in the camper van now with the cats. Uh, the house is all packed. Uh, we've shut the door for the last time, um, which is kind of sad because this has been our home for almost eight years. Um, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's difficult, you know. It's difficult to leave a place that's been your home and your comfort zone and your and your safe place for such a long time, you know. And we're doing something pretty wild, really, you know. Um, so it's kind of scary, and it's obviously it's exciting. Um, but you know, all of these all of these uh, feelings and emotions are can get quite confused, you know. Um, we've got the cats in here. The dog's down there. Jean is up front. And, um, yeah. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we've had to take way too much stuff in this camper van with us. But, uh, yeah, we're going to make the most of it. So, we will check in uh, probably while we're on our way. In 1.2 miles. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto A249. We're on the road, guys. We're on the road. Gina. Yeah, so we've had a few a few hours sleep or not sleep. A few hours laying down. And it's uh, four eighteen in the morning, and uh, we're on our way back to um, the Euro Tunnel. It is uh, half past four in the morning. Um, we've been up since about three, and then I think we. Yeah, it's been it's been a long night basically. Uh, we're at the Channel Tunnel now. We're just in the parking lot. Um, if you look in the distance there, I, I don't know if you can see. It's like a electronic billboard, and uh, they call out the numbers, and then you board. We're going to be boarding in about half an hour's time. Uh, we did come last night, but they don't allow you in unless you. I think the maximum amount of time is four hours before your train departs. And I think we got here last night at about nine o'clock, so they wouldn't let us in. So we had to drive around and find a place to, to park. Um, and we found some like truck stop. Um, and uh, yeah, I think we got into bed at about midnight last night. And then we were up at three, uh, a bit of a broken night because obviously the cats were a bit freaked out, um, but they seem to be settling in. And uh, yeah, our train is going to be at 5.45 and uh, it takes about half an hour or so. Um, so I think what we're going to do is uh, hop the channel um, and when we arrive on the other side, we're going to drive for about, um, I don't know, an hour or so and get out of Calais and uh, maybe take the coastal road and try and see if we can find a, a nice place to park. And, uh, and then try and see if we can have a little bit of rest and uh, I'll cook up a nice breakfast and yeah we just chill for a while and after that we will have no sort of time constraints and uh, the schedule's completely ours so that's going to be a lot better than um, right now where we have to wake up at this you know at this time and you've got to be on the train and have your passports ready and you know they're going to inspect stuff and uh, with all the with, you know the pets and everything. Anyway, once all that's out the way, hopefully it will be good. But for the meantime, uh, we are quite shattered. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so we're starting to board now. So we're just figuring out where we're supposed to go. Right. Got our passports. Look at this. Hi. I got told off 
um, for filming at passport control. Cool, check this out. Wow, this is freaky. Oh my god, we're gonna drive on, we're actually gonna drive onto this train. I can't believe it. driving our motorhome onto a train. This is amazing. How cool is this? Jeez. So this train is going to take us through the Euro Tunnel, which goes underneath the sea between, uh, well, between here and uh, France, pops up, pops up again in Calais and France. And there you are, bumper to bumper. <laughs> hey, calm down, dog dog, calm down. It's okay. So yeah, check that out. Here we are on, we're on a train. It's going through these tunnels right in the car. I mean, look at these things. That's crazy, yeah? And then I don't know how deep we are, but we're underneath the... Um, we're underneath the North Sea between... Well, between Britain and France. So that's incredible. So... Yeah, we're going to take this train. I'm going to um, I'm going to upload this clip now because we've still got our 4G internet access. Um, I think once we go underneath the underneath the uh, Euro Tunnel, we're not going to have any internet unless there's Wi-Fi in here. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So I think that wraps up a uh, like the house move day really. And uh, it's been a long one. It's been a very long one. Yeah, we are both shattered. We are both absolutely shattered. So, um, yeah. That's what we're going to do. And we will check in again soon.